The removal of fuel subsidy has no doubt brought untold hardship to Nigerians, reflective of the poor state of the economy as the Naira continued on a downward slide. Nigerians, and indeed residents in Edo alike, have continued to feel the pangs of hunger, starvation and poverty as inflation continues to rise. The current economic situation may not have started to die, but clearly indicates that, as an import-dependent country, there is need for a paradigm shift by increasing local production from the manufacturing sector to meet local demands, as encapsulated by Barrister Sergius Osasuchi Ogun, who opined that engaging local car manufacturers is one sure way to tackle the free fall of the Naira. I think industry is really one standing today. If the government can encourage them, we should look at the multiplier effect of the employment they will generate, of the tax they will pay, and then the pride of driving a made in Nigeria car. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, Nigeria imported 733.9 billion naira worth of used cars into the country in the second quarter of 2023. The National Automotive Design and Development Council, NADDC, says the country spends about $8 billion each year on imported vehicles, despite that automobiles and related components are not on the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN list of ineligible products for foreign exchange. For Barrister Sergius Ogun, the way to go is to increase the capacities of local production to meet local needs. I have a local man who drives through these bad roads and has built cars with a lot of suspensions and hydraulics so that you can drive through bad spots without even feeling it. So that's another advantage that comes with having local knowledge. The MD is to patronize made in Nigerian cars. The political aspirations of Barrister Sergius Ogun for a 2024 governorship after two terms in the House of Representatives is a welcome development in view of his achievements where he has, to his credits, 99 constituency projects and sponsored a total of 441 bills and motions. Sonny Duke Okosun, ITV News.